today on Fixing the Money Thing. 10 things you need to know about finances. 50% of the time, the IRS makes mistakes themselves with themselves. You will save on the average 60 to $100,000. They found out that $1.5 billion in government benefits were not being utilized because anything you don't know about sets you, so, sets you up for a loss. I'm Gary Cassie. For nine years, I had debt I couldn't pay, which brought on panic attacks, antidepressants, until the kingdom of God drastically changed my life. Now I want to help you fix the money thing. America's financial coach, Gary Cassie, wants to mentor you in the kingdom principles that will set you free. If you put God's principles in place, you will prosper. This is Gary Cassie. Fixing the Money Thing. Oh, hey, it's good to see you again today. I'm Gary Cassie, and this is Fixing the Money Thing show. It does look different. I was preparing to do the show when my wife and daughter kind of interrupted the flow of things and hijacked me and said, we've got to have some answers on some of the financial issues we keep hearing about today. And I said, well, okay, let's do that. And so I came back and began to research those answers. But I think you'd probably get a better feel for what happened if we go back before this moment. And let's take a look what happened a few minutes ago. I mean, there's so many people that give us emails and write us emails about finances. It seems to be a huge issue, particularly with single women. There's just a lot of issues going on with finances. Yeah, it's very confusing. I think there's so many differing opinions out there. So I think we need to go to the expert today. I think ask we need to Dad. talk to Dad. Yeah, yeah let's go ask Gary. He's the financial <laughs> All expert. All right, let's go. Hey, Gary. Hi. We've been talking, and there are so many issues with finances and so many emails, and it seems confusing, especially yeah. to us women folk. And so we're yeah, looking we're yeah. looking for you to narrow it down. Could you just talk to us today? Give us 10 top things that people need to know about their finances. That's a great idea. So you know, I was it's just preparing, so preparing for fixing the money thing and just writing down some notes, but I think that that would be a good topic if we can maybe dialogue on that. I yeah, think a I lot think of people would probably... To... We need to narrow it down because I've heard so many things yes. about, you know, you got to do this or no, don't do that. Yeah, and yeah. I just think it would be great if we could simplify it. Yeah. <laughs> simplify it down for Very us. Very good. So give us your top 10. Let us know what are the top 10 things we need to do financially. Do you mind if I turn the cameras on? I think this might work. <laughs> we might just be able to talk to some people at the same time. How's that? Okay, you yeah. girls mind? Go ahead. Can you guys do that? Can you guys get, get, turn the cameras on? I think they have a good idea. We'll just kind of jump in on that, and then we'll see if, uh, you know, if it works out for us. Well, first off, understanding finances. We have to understand it's a big topic, you know. But if you had to ask me what the number one thing I would tell people, get out of debt. And here's the magic bullet, if you will. Here's, <laughs> here's what they don't know, is that the average family can be out of debt in five to seven years, including their home mortgage, without changing their income. Now, that sentence just kind of yeah. sticks. Most people what? would not believe that, yeah. <laughs> I don't think. You know, but uh, your mother and I researched that. Mm -hmm. Way back, we started our businesses. God spoke that to us, and we researched it and found, we did, went through all kinds of files and clients. We found that for 86% of all the families we dealt with in our business, that was true. Wow. Incredible. Now, here's what uh, is an interesting thing. Now, to make that happen, you got to find money, you got to reposition assets and move some things around. But we, uh, one of our, you know, our sponsor, Ford Financial Group, mm -hmm. does a plan that actually shows people exactly where the money comes from right. and exactly how to be out of debt in less than seven years. For instance, this family had a $140,000 mortgage, like six credit cards, two car loans, and the plan shows how to free up money, and we found... $1,400 a month, $1,400 a month was found in the past But they past already month. were spending that they didn't need to spend? Just by repositioning money, money wow. they didn't know they were losing, overpaying taxes, just by moving money around, mm -hmm. $1,400 a month. And then by applying that money to their debt, they are out of debt in 6.9 years, including their mortgages, their cars, their credit cards. Now, how do you think they felt wow. about that? Pretty exciting. <laughs> That's so pretty they, exciting. they cut their 30-year mortgage, you're saying, down to six, six and a half six years. And, yeah, 6.9 years. Wow. And they were excited about that. Now, Ford Financial Group has made an arrangement with the Fixing the Money Thing program that 
we can do that for our guests, for our, for our viewers. They can have this very plan done for them free of charge. And we'll also do it for Drendas. And the Drenda program as yeah. well. Uh, if they'll just call the number on the screen or they'll go to our website and get the number, mm -hmm. we'll be glad to have Ford Financial Group send that out to them. Cool. I mean, so that great simplifies tool. that pretty. I mean, they, they that, show you exactly what to do. Exactly. And that's where the number money comes one from. get out of debt. Get out <laughs> of debt. Get out of debt. What's number two? Number two <laughs> is similar, and that is restructure your debt. So if you were a client of, of mine, I would look at your debt first, and I would look at all the debt. In other words, you know, we, of course, we want to pay it off quickly, mm -hmm. but in the process of waiting for that to happen, like the 6.9 years, mm -hmm. We can get, get it done faster by lowering the interest rate on the current debt structure. Right. So, for instance, we would look at the mortgage. We would look at the consumer debt, which is always higher interest than a mortgage. We would look at car loans, you know, credit cards, and we would see if there's a way to consolidate or refinance, mm -hmm. bring those interest rates down. Now, when is, it, when is it really worth it to refinance? When it saves you money. <laughs> <laughs> So if, well, you can, if you can drop your interest point by a whole point, uh, uh, two points? How there's a formula. It depends on how long you're going to stay in the house. Okay. Typically, you want to stay in the house over two years to refinance. Okay. But, you know, if you consider the interest rate mm -hmm. times your mortgage debt. So if you had a savings of 1% yeah. that you're going to save by refinancing, against a $200,000 mortgage, you could then calculate how much it's going to save you. Right. Then take the cost of the refinancing compared to the savings, you could figure out how much time it would take to break even. Okay. So, gotcha. uh, but typically about a, a year and a half to two years is what it takes to break even on refinance. Okay. So restructure the debt. What's number three? Well, number three is probably common sense. Have a cash reserve. Without a cash reserve, you are going to always have to have debt options. Right. Like a credit card in your pocket. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're going to be using credit. Yeah, your car yes. breaks down or something. So yeah. where, how do we get this cash reserve, though? Because yeah. a lot of people say, I don't have <laughs> the extra money, done. Gary. That's why I'm using debt. Right. Well, that's, I'm glad you asked, because that's what we did for 30 years. We helped people find money. Most people have all the money they need, obviously, to get out of debt in 6.9 years. They already had the money. Mm -hmm. They already had the money. They just didn't know they had the money. I call it the fragment business. If you add up enough little pieces of money, it adds up to a large amount of money, mm -hmm. and you can be out of debt very quickly. Now, where can we look? Well, the biggest loss area is taxes. That it, and, I mean, no, everyone hates taxes. Right. Who wants to talk about taxes? Who wants to look at tax forms? But there is big money there. But Huge. aren't taxes, don't they just tell you how much you owe and there's really no way to get Who's around they? it? Who's they? The IRS? No, the IRS does not tell you how much to pay. Okay. Tax professionals that do your return tell you how much it looks like you're going to owe. Okay. The IRS's responsibility is to dictate the laws. Right. But, but aren't those pretty straightforward? I mean, well, straightforward is kind of a pretty, <laughs> that's not really straightforward because that's why we have H&R Block, we have all these tax companies, all these people to prepare, we have TurboTax, all these companies that help right. people because it is confusing. And there's a huge difference in what you can pay depending on who did your return, right? Huge. Really? <laughs> well, 50% of the time, the IRS makes mistakes themselves with themselves. In other words, they get their wow. own advice wrong 50% of the time. <laughs> Money Magazine says they guarantee the average family loses 25, at least, or 50% in overpaying their taxes. Oh, my wow. gosh. So and we nobody say, catches it? I Who's going to catch it? The same lost? guy that did it? <laughs> I mean, you know, your tax yeah. preparer did it. He's not, he obviously can't so you need see it. You get a second opinion you in taxes. You get a second opinion or a third opinion on your tax return. Okay. And so you have to, you know, you have to understand how to do that. So we got to find money to get out of debt. So taxes is the biggest expense. In fact, you work until April 11th or 12th, I think it is to 12th of every year just to pay taxes. So every dime you make goes to pay taxes. That's the biggest expense in your life, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm so, trying to fund my cash reserve. I can do that with tax? Well, here's a simple one, money. tax Save. refund check. Two-thirds of Americans count it a victory to get a tax refund check. Uh -huh. Let me ask you a question. How much interest did the IRS pay you on the refund? Ooh. None. None. Zero. <laughs> Would you get all excited about investing your money at a bank that no. advertised 0% interest? No. 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 So what you want to do is go back to your employer and get the W-9 form and fill in the allowances. And there's a formula you go through, which then tells you how much you should have withheld. Mm -hmm. So take that money as it's repositioned back into your cash flow. In other words, you don't want a big refund check, maybe 200 bucks. Okay. 
Okay. So free that money up into your monthly cash flow and put that in towards your cash okay. reserve. Right. Once that's right. established, then you'll start accelerating debt with it. Would you set that up like in a debit or something? It goes into account. You can. You can. Would you can do you, that. The same money, then, so you don't spend it. You just yeah. you clear it. Well, you've got to get it out of the checking account. What that's about sure. even you yeah. can have a garage sale, get things out of the? Well, basement, that's my next point. Finding money. Uh, how about this? Four hundred billion dollars is lost in the United States. Go to every state's website. They have a file called unclaimed money. Whatever state you live in, go to your website, go to unclaimed funds. There's money, millions, billions of dollars there that people have not claimed. From what? Well, they move, their employer can't find them, an aunt leaves them an inheritance or something, and this money's all recorded by law. It has mm -hmm. to be held for you in escrow. And there's 400 billion. You can start your search by missingmoney.com. It's a website that actually searches all these databases for you and tells you. And uh, I went wow. online myself and found that my grandpa left money that I didn't know about. Wow. Super. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how about uh, overpaying taxes? My dad got a refund check of about $4,000 when we went online and found out that he'd overpaid his property taxes. Hmm. There's money to be found by going online and checking these things out. But okay. you mentioned garages and basements are a great source of funds. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of stuff down there. Some so get that cash reserve is the main thing. Sell Whatever it on Craigslist, get stuff yeah. out, sell stuff. If you haven't needed it for six months, and you're probably big, not going to need it. How <laughs> big does this emergency cash fund, yeah, well, cash reserve we need to be? It needs to eventually get up to six months to a year, but I always tell people start with $2,000. Okay. Because okay. they just have to start somewhere, you Set know? Set of tires, right. that it'll yeah, pay for so it'll whatever. Yeah, so it'll pay for some, a lot of things. But right. this can go on for a long time. But listen... When we come back, let's dig further into this and let's All talk right. about how to find more money yeah. and find out how we can get these top 10 things right. listed out for you. All these things you've been talking about have come, come out of your book, Fixing yep, the Money yep. Thing, A Practical and Guide. That came out of our life, so, what we learned. Yes. Right, right. So when we come back, we'll talk again some more with Amy and Drenda about the top 10 financial things you need to know to start the process of getting out of debt, getting your house in order. Be right back. You're watching Fixing the Money Thing. When we first moved here, um, we were not doing as great financially. For us, it was just always that paycheck to paycheck living, never quite enough. Um, something major would always happen um, as soon as we did get any money, mm -hmm. and so it just felt like we could never get ahead. When we were transferred out here, um, that whole first year, I worked my guts out that entire year, and we actually lost $20,000 that year. So um, that first year, you know, trying to take care of a, a baby, um, spending a lot of time away from my house, doing sales only to be $20,000 less than what I was the year before, it was it was really stressful. Well, we both grew up um, in the same church together, and so we had, had a very, um, law-based religious background and so a lot of Pastor Gary's teachings was totally different than how we grew up and so we really had to renew our mind. That that whole concept of you know taking your burdens and giving them to the Lord and live in that double portion, live in that fullness and completion, we we digested it. I mean, we took notes. We couldn't get enough. Yeah. And that was the beginning of 2018. We ended up getting together with a friend of ours from Ford Financial, and we wanted to break it down. We, we wanted to be able to get out of debt. We wanted to fix our situation. We sat down with them in March to lay out an 18-month game plan to get out of debt. And three months later, we paid off our, our credit card uh, bill. And then a month and a half later, we paid off uh, our student loan bill. And I remember calling my friend saying, hey, I know it was an 18-month plan, but uh, it's five months in and we're out of debt, you know? And it was a, it was a change, yeah. but we knew that there was more. For us, that was a big deal to just see that happen because you're like, okay, this works. So we took that and then we started applying it to how we operated with the debt and um, and things just started compounding quickly and money and money would just cut whether he earned bon different bonuses, um, you know, our different streams of income that we have started increasing yeah. and, um, and we were just able to quickly pay off that debt. And I think it was just having, you know, there was a practical side to it of having a plan 
um, but then there was also applying the spiritual principles. And I feel like, you know, even for the people that have had a success with this, we, we have to think bigger because there's a lot more people that need to see how good God is in our life and how he can be in their life too. Yeah. Get out your notebook. Gary has six more financial tips you need to know. The things that Gary's been sharing are in those books, Fixing the Money Thing and Financial Keys You Need to Know. Ten things, so we're trying to cover some of those things. Uh, we're yes. on number five. Yeah, finding uh, money. Finding money. That's our favorite my part is when we're exactly. We're That's shoppers. We love to find hey, deals. speaking <laughs> of finding money, you know, we're talking about finding the money we need to get out of debt. Right. Uh, some new laws are coming through the United States where they've deregulated gas and electric. And for instance, by one simple phone call, most people can reduce their electric bill by 20 to 30 percent. That's big money, yeah. especially for business owners. But uh, if they want more information about that, then go to the website. Of course, our uh, company that's sponsoring Ford Financial Group, again, they, they handle some of that mm -hmm. and get some ideas and can help people with that. Okay. But Super. that's simple money. One phone call, right. 20 percent off, 30 percent off your electric bill. Right. It's just an idea how we find money. There's just there's fragments. Doesn't necessarily everywhere. mean working harder, just working smarter. <laughs> exactly. There's money out there. Right. That's exactly right. Yes. Okay. Number six. Give us number six. Well, number six is in line with finding money, but it deals with insurance. Everyone loves to pay for insurance, right? No. It's boring. Right? <laughs> it's boring. I mean, most Necessary people don't read evil. their insurance policies <laughs> yeah. to put themselves to sleep at night. Well, they could because they would put them to sleep. But the, the bottom line is they don't know about it. They don't right. want to know about it. But it because anything you don't know about sets you, so, sets you up for a loss. Yeah, exactly. Because Knowledge someone, take advantage of exactly you. right. So let me give an example. Uh, life insurance. Now, how exciting is that? Not. <laughs> it's not exciting. Now, think about this. Life insurance is not exciting. No one wants to talk about it. But it has more money than real estate, banking, and oil combined. What? Huge. Bigger than and real wow. estate, banking, and oil combined. I didn't know that. Combined. You say, well, what, what are you talking about? Life insurance. Life insurance companies are the huh. biggest financial companies in the world. Wow. Now, they got that money from selling different types of products and ways they've done things. So specifically, what we call cash value life insurance, where it has a cash value as opposed to term insurance. It's like you have a group, you know, if you have a group policy. If, if something happens to you, it just pays a death, a death amount. Mm -hmm. So to give you an example why we need to learn these things, a typical $250,000 life insurance policy may cost you $3,200 a year. It means if something happens to you, it pays $250,000 to your spouse. Okay. But a typical term insurance policy pays out the same $250,000 per year, but only costs $400 a year compared to $3,200 a year. That's quite okay, a but difference. with cash value, I've always heard you're investing, you know, yes, in your Yes, you're right. It does build up money. In fact, in the example I just gave you, it would build up $113,000 after 30 years. But here's the key you don't know, is if something happened to you, the life insurance company pays the death claim and keeps your cash. Which sounds like they're stealing. Really? <laughs> that is exactly. Okay. And if you want the money out while you're living, you have to borrow it and pay interest on it. And I want to know, well, what, is the, what is the return on the oh. money then? If you're borrowing it and, and yeah. you've been paying your own money into the policy all Well, the Federal Trade long. Commission did a research, uh, a two-year study of that, and the average return was about 0.7 to 0.9% return. But the point I'm making is, is that's one little example in the insurance area. Mm -hmm. So if I was a company, would I want to sell $250,000 worth of liability for $400 or $3,200? Right. You <laughs> understand he's how, push the 3, you understand how they made a lot of money. Right. But so there's things you need to know about insurance, car insurance, homeowners insurance, all these different areas have losses when you do not know how they operate. Mm -hmm. And so... That's one of the things so that we did. ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is not <laughs> uh, bliss. Even if it's an no, area you don't no, want no, to delve no. into, it's worth it because <laughs> it's it's, not. you're losing lots of money. Exactly. Something so simple as that, right? Yeah. So what's what your mother and I did. We started a company to help people find the fragments 30 years ago, and we began to research this stuff. We go, you got to be kidding me. 
Who's telling people Seems this? Like a ripoff. Nobody. Yeah. Oh, what about that? Yeah. Well, that's, that's why the middle class is always the one that's paying out all these yes. things because they don't have the finances to hire a professional to watch out, and even professionals right. can take you to yeah. the cliffs. Well, I mean, <laughs> for instance, the IRS is not going to tell you how to pay less taxes. The bank's not going to tell you how to pay the loan off early. Right. I mean, who is the, the advocate company's not tell you for, the for the middle class? Term insurance. No exactly. one's the middle. Middle right. class pays at all, and yeah. so we have to. There's, okay, there's give us another. Okay, we're okay I know we're running out of time. Behind. Okay, here's 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 a big one. What's the what do you think would be the biggest or one of the biggest expenses in your married life? A house. Your home, a house. Right. Did you know or have you considered building your own house? The average is you build your own house, you general contract, which is what we did, you will save on the average sixty to a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. You say, well, I don't know how to do that. And we proved that. There are books <laughs> that show you how to do that. It is not that difficult mm -hmm. to do. We did that. Yeah. And you can save $100,000 on your house right. just by learning some basics of how to basically schedule subcontractors and designing and working your own house. Yeah, it's, I, it's I remember it, we went through that process yeah. and I learned so much just watching you do it, but it exactly wasn't really. Right. It was fun. We yeah. had a great experience. We learned it wasn't a lot as of hard as it may sound. Yes. Yeah, so house and we is have, a big We deal. have resources they can get about that as well. We have resources on that as well. We can put that online. Yeah, okay, I want to get this. to the next okay. one. Okay, <laughs> here is a really, really big one because once you have some money, you want to keep it. And one of the questions we get now with the economy in a mess is what about my retirement money? Is it safe? And a lot of people have lost retirement mm, money, yeah. huge amounts. In the last, True. basically the last 10 years, you've heard this phrase twice. It hasn't been this bad since the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. Right. And twice we've seen retirement accounts drop 50 to 70 percent. Twice. Wow. And in fact, they're just now starting to get back where they were 10 years ago. So our advice to consumers is there's a way to invest or hold your retirement account that's safe and insured without the risk of the markets and without sacrificing the return and getting a 1% or a negative, you know, like the bank, you know, 1.2 or point, a measly little return. Right. There are new products on the market, in the marketplace, that allow you to capture current good returns and have safe retirement accounts. By the way, most people have their money in a 401k. Here's something they don't know. A law was passed in 2002 that said that a person with a 401k retirement account mm -hmm. can move it out of that retirement account, can move it out of their 401k without leaving the company. See, most people know you can move it once you leave the company, mm -hmm. but you can usually move the money out of your current 401k into your own choosing your own choice, mm -hmm. your own retirement account in an IRA, your, what you choose to put it in, without leaving your company and without stopping the 401k. In other words, it keeps going every month. You keep and investing is, into it. And is that it. advantageous oh. to most people to make that move? 401ks are very limited. They're in the market. They have limited options. Mm -hmm. uh, we recommend that people take control of their retirement account for safety in these days, and they usually can outperform the 401k's return. Hmm. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Keep it safe. Do you have another? Do you have another? Well, yeah, here's, here's, a, here's a big one. Of course, we can go for a long time. This will be the last one I have time for. And that is a lot of people are just, they're, they're hurting, they need some money. And in Ohio, they found out that $1.5 billion in government benefits were not being utilized by the people of Ohio because the form's too complicated, they didn't know who to go to, et cetera, et cetera. So this, this, this program came into existence that helped consolidate all of the programs that are available, like food stamps, mm -hmm. rent to help, you know, subsidized energy bills, all of these things help with tax returns are all available to people. Mm -hmm. And that's money they found that they were able to, to capture thousands of dollars that they did not normally know they had. And that is about all the time I have girls. <laughs> and so I want to say, if you want wow, the information. That's, that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot. If, yeah. But it is available. There's and more, the yes. 10 keys it's all yeah. you need to know websites, it's available at the fixing the money thing those websites are in here yes. they can also it's go to book. Gary Cassie yeah but um, you can see short period of time we've been able to list yeah. many many things that yeah, can find very money quickly. very quickly that right. people don't think about so I trust you'll consider that and go to GaryCassie.com or drenda.com and let's get the material let's win for our families let's find the fragments and you can win in your finances and be out of debt. We'll see you next time right here on Fixing the Money Thing.